Hey guys, before we get started today, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's subscribed to our YouTube channel so far. We've hit that mile marker of 100 subscribers, and hopefully it's only up from here. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Today, we're talking about the functions of semi-automatic handguns. There's five steps that happen in the function of a semi-automatic. You have feed, chamber, fire, extract, and eject. We're gonna go over all of those today. So the first step that we're talking about is feeding. Feeding is when the round is fed from the magazine into the firearm. When it's fed into the firearm, it's flush inside the chamber and it's chambered. The next step is fire. When that round goes off, the majority of the energy from that round going off is pushing the projectile out of the gun towards the target. The rest of that energy is what is pushing the slide back. So the next step as the slide starts moving back is called extraction. Extraction is where the firearm itself is pulling that empty casing out of the chamber. The next step from there is eject. After it's been pulled from the chamber, the firearm ejects it out of the way and steps itself up to load the next round. Another very important part of how a semi-automatic handgun works comes from the magazine, understanding the parts and how the magazine itself works. So the body is the main part of the magazine that everything works inside and keeps everything together. Your floor plate is what's attached to the bottom of the magazine that holds onto the pressure being applied to the spring. On top of the spring, you'll have a follower. Now there's, you'll see two different kinds of followers. If you have a double stack magazine, which means your rounds zigzag inside when it's loaded, you're gonna have a follower with a little bit of a cant on the side of it. If you have a single stack magazine where they flow in one straight line, you might just have a flat follower. The reason for the angled follower in a double stack magazine is so that the follower can act like, the, like it's the last round while it pushes the last round into the firearm correctly. So there's a few reasons why it's important to understand how your gun works and why it does what it does. One of those is so if you come across malfunctions, understanding what your gun is supposed to be doing next will help you understand how to fix that malfunction and move on with what you are doing. We're gonna cover malfunctions in a different video, but thanks for tuning into this one, guys. And as always, if you enjoyed this one, go ahead, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and run your drills, not your mouth. So that first, that first step, it's fucking, I'm just gonna start talking, and the things are gonna be said, and it's gonna make sense. Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about the functions of most semi-automatic. Fuck, what's wrong with me? What if there's only so many words I could use? So why, why is it, why? There's nothing, I can use fucking any of them.